Hey Wingsters and welcome to this video where we'll show you real quick the best Python Easter eggs in existence. So this this will be a quick uh, fun video. It's just uh, Python comes with a lot of uh, special functionality, small tricks and Easter eggs that are not obvious but uh, most professional coders know, know them so therefore I thought it may be interesting for you to, to learn about them. Okay, so let's open a Python shell. Good, so here we are. Um, and now we are running this. Okay, so the first Easter egg I want to show you is you type in in any Python shell import this. And now this will give you the Zen of Python. It's uh, like like a poem uh, from Tim P Tim Peters, and it shows you uh, what what is good Python code. And you should you should you should read it regularly, maybe once every month if you start out once every week, so that you get um, accustomed to the feeling of writing good py Python code. So for example, beautiful is better than ugly. Explicit is better than implicit. So. So use uh, doesn't don't assume anything. <coughs> use variable names, for example, that are easily understandable. Uh, use simple code rather than complex code. Um, but complex is still better than complicated. So keep it complex if it needs to be complex, but don't overcomplicate things. Uh, make it flat and don't nest it. Make it sparse and so on. Readability count. So you can you can uh, read over the set of Python, just type in import this in any shell and it will give you this poem. So this is a quite useful trick. Actually, it will make you a better coder. So uh, this is my first Python uh, Easter egg. So let's dive into the next Python e e uh, Easter egg, which is import. So if, if you open our Python shell and make this smaller. Okay, you can also type in import underscore underscore called dunder in Python. Hello. So import dunder hello, and this will just give you hello world. So this helps you try out things. Uh, it's just a fun, fun project. Okay, so it's dunder hello types uh, prints hello world. This is interesting, um, actually. Yeah. So uh, then there's a small, the small trick I actually enjoyed. So I thought uh, this may be interesting for you to uh, to see. Okay. So what happens if you, so if you import this, you already um, know. That it prints uh, this this poem. So if you if you type in import this, then it if you execute it the first time, it will import the poem. And then you do this one love. So you assign uh, this to the variable love. Then you say love is true. And then of course the result is false because love is not true. Okay, <laughs> love is true. So this is like think about the underlying meaning. Okay, love is true false. So now you can also type in love is false. And this is also false. Interesting output. So love is not true or false. This is true. <laughs> and love is love. True. <laughs> okay. So these are some small little tricks. So you can you can think about this. So try try it, try it yourself and try to. Um, so there's a there's a great tool. Many don't know it. It's called uh, Python. Uh, Python teacher, nay, pythontutor.com, and you can check out. You can type in this code uh, in pythontutor.com to see the objects in memory and how they refer to each other. Then you will understand this. But this, this is a nice, nice little trick. It's called "This is Love." Uh, good. Then um, another trick that doesn't unfortunately work in my editor is uh, that you can you can use really cool variable names. Okay, so you can use so if you type in, you can import p and then you can really use the p symbol so you can use any unicode symbol in python as a variable name in general okay it even works here yeah you see so i have a very cool unicode uh, symbol and i assign uh, this symbol to the very to to the so the value p it's a constant it's a uh, float constant now we assign this constant to our unicode character uh, Unicode variable name p. So this is a really cool variable name. You can use it in your code. So now you can do something like this. You can calculate area is uh, r square squared for example times p. So you can use really cool variable names. All the Unicode variables you can use basically or most of them. Um, it also depends on the editor. Some editors actually cannot handle it, but Python can handle it. So Python understands it in general. Okay, um, then another cool trick is to, to type import 
anti-gravity. If you type import anti-gravity, then it will open a browser here and give you an XKCD um, comic. So I, I'll, give you, I'll give you a moment to read the comic. <laughs> You can also pause the video if you want the uh, to the comic, or you can just type in import anti-gravity into your Python shell, and then you can read the uh, comic. Then we have um, also a nice little trick. Maybe maybe I will not go into this video. Okay, so that's it. So I think I think I think we will we will uh, leave it for now with this. Cool tricks. If you like those tricks, then give me a comment below, and then I will uh, maybe give some more, um, more, some more tricks. So, for example, this Barry as uh, Flufil, it's a diamond. Use a di diamond operator in Python, but I don't want to address it here because uh, this video is just for beginners, just a fun thing, and I think the diamond diamond operator may be a bit too complicated to understand now uh, for now for this video. But I will, I can, I, I can give, uh, I can make another video on this topic if you want, then just leave a comment below. Okay, thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.